Connect CAD 2023 is all about streamlining your workflows and improving documentation. From reworking the default Connect CAD classing structure for better file organization to smarter drop down lists, you will find working in Connect CAD 2023 more intuitive and efficient. To make it easier for you to see at a glance how the default Connect CAD classes relate to the Connect CAD objects and each other, the default class structure has been completely reorganized. All Connect CAD classes are now part of the CC hierarchical grouping and are organized by object type. Being able to easily edit devices is key to an efficient schematic design workflow. With the new direct socket editing feature, simply double click on any socket to edit it. Once you have customized your device, add it to the database with a single command, streamlining a previously complex process into a simple and intuitive workflow to help keep you focused on what is important, your design. Further streamline your design process by reducing the amount of time you need to assign connectors and cables to circuits and sockets with smarter list choices. The connector and cable type dropdowns will be automatically filtered based on the signal type of the socket or circuit you are working with. You can use the ConnectCAD settings signals pane to further optimize this by editing the associations between signals and connectors based on your own needs and project requirements. You can now assign schematic devices to layout rooms and racks with location presetting in ConnectCAD 2023. Enter the device's location, rack, and rack location directly in the schematic or by editing them in a worksheet. Once your devices have the data filled in, run the create equipment command, and the equipment will be created automatically in the correct room and rack locations. This will save you from having to manually move equipment around after creation. This is especially powerful when you have equipment across multiple floors or layers of a building. The number and type of adapters you need for your system designs is constantly increasing, as are the costs involved from simple multi-core break-ins and break-outs through to SFPs. You need to be able to account for them both in your schematic and for budgeting as part of a project bid. Some, like SFPs, are significant line items by themselves, with costs into the thousands of dollars. ConnectCAD 2023 adds the new adapter device type to aid you in creating your system schematics and enabling better documentation by making it easier to account for all the equipment you need for a project. Adapters can be added to any device socket or circuit and will behave consistently with other devices. Moving the parent device and the adapter will move with it. Similarly, move the adapter and any connected circuits will move with the adapter. If the adapter gets disconnected from its parent device, you'll be visually notified by a little yellow warning icon displaying on the adapter. You can create adapters like any other device with the Device Builder tool or by customizing an existing adapter from the ConnectCAD library. Like other devices, you can continue editing them at any point as your schematic evolves. ConnectCAD's 2023 reworked task oriented reports, new worksheet object data functions, object-related parameters, and report-related context menu commands will give you a range of new documentation options and workflows. Using the new context menu commands, you'll be able to create a rack report directly from a 2D rack object, or select database rows in open worksheets directly from your schematic. Your schematic editing and updating workflow will also be transformed with the ability to select schematic circuits directly from inside your circuit reports. ConnectCAD 2023 will help you maintain your focus on your design with improved workflows, a more intuitive and controllable class structure, better data management, and task-driven reporting.